when the shark latched onto my hand, um, a whole lot really didn't go through my head other than uh, try not to uh, let the damage worsen. Um, I felt where the teeth were in my hand pretty easily. They sunk all the way to the bone very quickly and, and uh, the pressure was very uh, continuous. There was no uh, kind of a chewing to it at all. It was more of just a clamp. So um, the motion of it was very simple and when I felt it just simply holding latched on the, kind of the bone and stuff, uh, I just wanted it off of there and uh, after it came off of there and, and I felt my hand was still, you know, I could still move everything pretty well. Um, you know, there was no thought of, of being uh, worried ever really. It happened so quickly. The, uh, I mean, to sum everything up, it just, it, it was a blur. Like one second, you know, the hook was almost out of the mouth and the next second, my hand was almost entirely in the mouth. Right here is the two, uh, probably the two gnarliest of the wounds. When it happened, this bone was exposed right there. You could see this tendon wiggling around under the skin. Um, the plan originally was to just cut the line, leave the hook in there to rust, but um, we didn't have any more hooks that day. We had plenty of more bait, so I figured it'd be fun to go back out and um, try to catch another one. So. Bad decision, but I guess, you know, I wanted to get the hook out, so I stuck my hand down there since we didn't have any pliers.